Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today, as you guys can see from the title, I am doing my rainbow palette. I have mentioned this before, whether you guys wanted to see my rainbow palettes or not, and since it is Pride Month, I figured let me pull out the rainbow palettes that I do own in my collection to kind of inspire you guys, just in case there's a ton of rainbow palettes out there that you are interested in. Maybe you might have it in your collection and you don't really need to get a new one. As far as that's what I am thinking, that's how my mindset is, because a rainbow palette is very common. It's just this month we are bringing them more to light because it is Pride Month. So I do have some here from you guys, for you guys to share with you. So I do have some palettes to share with you guys today. So we're just going to get right into it. So I do have an array of different palettes in here. I want to remind you that basically a rainbow palette is the seven primary colors. Some palettes may have a little bit of extra or variations of those seven primary colors in the rainbow. But if you see those seven primary colors with a little bit of an extension, you have yourself a rainbow palette or just those seven shades. That'll be a true rainbow palette. So I do have some here with one honorable mention because that specific palette I have yet to use, but it is technically a rainbow palette. I'm here to inspire you to shop your collection and obviously if you do want to get a rainbow palette who am I to tell you not to get it? Do you? If you want one go right ahead. I think they are beautiful and they're fun to wear. As you guys can see I kind of did the rainbow on my eyeballs today which I've never done before which was fun. It was a lot of fun to do. It's different. <laughs> my daughter has a band concert tonight so I'm curious to see what parents are going to think about this one. So anyway, let's get into the palettes. The first one I want to share with you guys actually is $5. I recently used this in a tutorial and I thought it was $8 or $9. No, this is $5. This is the Pro Fusion Spectrum Palette. This is a true rainbow palette. Very inexpensive and you guys it is actually not bad for what it is. My recommendation and what has been recommended to me is to use scratch, scratchy brushes. Nothing fine or fancy because you're not going to pick up a lot of product but if you have scratchy brushes inexpensive brushes you know the drugstore ones they're going to work great for this even the morphe brushes i find are very scratchy and they would work for this type of palette it's beautiful it really stands out i did not use any type of base with any of these palettes that i'm going to share with you guys today so these will stand out on their own if you build them they are beautiful this is a little bit powdery but you guys this is a true rainbow palette you're on a budget this would be something good for you these are found online on Profusion's website as well as in most Walmarts. In your local Walmart maybe, they do have a whole entire section of just Profusion palettes. So this is one of them that I would recommend. Going to the other side of the spectrum, a very expensive <laughs> bright rainbow palette. It's the one that I'm wearing today is the Viseart Editorial one. You guys know I'm such a fan of this formula so I almost have every single one of their palettes it's beautiful yes it is expensive for a rainbow palette you do not need to spend that much money on a rainbow palette but I find that this formula is amazing you guys can see that it blended really beautiful on my eyes I had no issues with it no type of problem building up the color it was super vibrant no type of base on these at all I really like this this is a beautiful palette you do get rainbow colors plus some different varieties of the original colors here and then you get that true white if you want to use it as a base or an inner corner highlight this one's on the other side of the spectrum from this one five dollars eighty you could still get the same look just with the five dollar one but I did want to share it because this is in my collection and one of the first ones that I did buy now this is an OG one this one is has been with me even before my YouTube channel even started and I will never let it go. Most of these colors are available in their single. They no longer, I believe, have this one. I might be wrong. I think they do have this one, but it no longer comes in this packaging. This is the Coastal Scents Creative Me Palette 1. This is the one because they had one and two. I think they got rid of the two, but I still think they have the one. This is in the original packaging with their mirror pop out things. Look how beautiful. This is my very, very, very first rainbow palette. And this one cost me under $10 at the time. Brings a mirror, no longer does. They do sell these specific palettes, but not in this form anymore. You just buy them separately and you fill them in. These are colors that are permanent to their collection. You guys, here is my true rainbow palette. These, these shadows really shined. I... Okay, so if I didn't start my YouTube channel and already owned something like this, you guys know that I've always been a fan of color. This is just so beautiful. I used this on camera quite a few times. The vibrancy of it is there. The color payoff is there. These are all mattes, all beautiful. So far, every one that I've shown you is a matte palette. 
but they're all beautiful. So if you don't need to break the budget, I believe right now this is 15 or under. The way that they have it packaged, it is now in a cardboard packaging, and I think you cannot pop out the shadows. This one, I can pop out the shadows if I want to, and I did write the names on the back just so I know what I have. They have yellow, bright yellow, light tangerine, bright tangerine, one that is no longer available, neon bright pink, deep grape I know is in there, indigo, teal green, so it's a true rainbow palette. I love this one. Now let's go on to my indie brands, because you guys know indie brands know how to rock color to its fullest. The first one I want to share with you guys is Juvia's Place Zulu. Can you guys, I wonder if I ever have a video when it comes to eyeshadow palettes that I don't include Juvia's Place because I don't think there is one. <laughs> this one is so beautiful. Now this is the first one I'm sharing with you guys that is not all matte. It is a rainbow palette with a brown in it, but you do get different finishes. You get a shimmery, metallic, like these are very in your face if you wet them and then you get some of these that are all matte in here but it is a true rainbow palette still you get the color variety the brightness a beautiful formula you guys know I'm a fan of this one fan of all Juvia's Place palettes so this is the next rainbow palette that I would recommend if you have it I believe this is 20 and under if you can get it uh, less than 20 bucks this is a beautiful one. I really, really like this one. Now, one that is not available, but I believe they have one that's comparable to it now in their permanent collection. This is the Blush Try Blossom. Now, this one's all matte as well, and this is more of a subdued rainbow palette. You do get the rainbow in here, but you get variations of it and more subdued. So you're getting a deep purple with a light purple, a light blue with a dark, so on and so forth with each corresponding color. You also get a beautiful black and a white if you are interested in that. This one is not available, but I did still want to share with you guys because I do use it all the time. It is in my collection. And again, I repeat this over and over and over when it comes to discontinued limited edition products. There's always something out there. I'm showing you other varieties of this. So you don't need to have this one particularly. You can see other ones that I'm sharing with you guys. And the beauty of it is that they have made one permanent that is similar to this one to replace this one since this one isn't available anymore but i wanted to share with you guys because if you do own it pull it out if not i am sure you have something in your collection that is very similar to this one it's sister brand certify the tropical wonders palette now this is a rainbow palette with extra as you guys can see here you do get a gray a black you get this white one here and some more neutral shades but you're here, you're getting the rainbow. These right here and this green right here are all rainbow shades. You're getting variations of it. You're getting bright, bold, more sultry ones, subdued, more of a lighter color. But you still get the rainbow palette in here. So here's another variation of another indie brand that has come out with a rainbow palette. If you have it, you already own the rainbow, you guys. The rainbow is at your fingertips. Now, the last one I want to share with you guys is an honorable mention. And the reason why it's an honorable mention is because I have not used it. But I know it's a rainbow palette and I can vouch for its formula because I am already a fan of all the rest of their palettes. And so far, I've never found one that isn't comparable to the rest. The one I'm talking to you guys about is the Colored Rain Vivid, what is it called? Vivid Pigments Shadows. Now, these were singly sold and now they're in a palette form i can pop these out if i want to but look how beautiful this rainbow is it is stunning i i should be getting on this very soon because now that it is summer i'm dying to play with this here you get in your purples your blues your greens your orangey pinks peaches and then you get two neutral shades down here actually this one's more of a red red deeper red brown and then this is the transition shade that i would say is the most wearable one besides this one, but this is more vibrant. It's beautiful. I haven't played with it, but I can guarantee you that the, the formula is amazing. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys are gonna tell me that the formula is amazing. This is all completely matte. It is stunning. I know that Colored Rain recently had a sale with 30% off. You guys, their formula is one of my favorites. One of my favorite indie brands. I've loved them for years, even before they had eyeshadows. So I've been a fan for a very long time of Colored Rain. 
So the only palette that I'm sharing with you guys today that had that is not completely matte is the Zulu palette. This one has the metallic -y, shimmery shades in them. Every other palette that I've shared with you guys today is completely matte. So you do have a variety of rainbow palettes. Since it is Pride Month, you're going to see a lot of releases, and I've been sharing a lot of releases with you guys that are rainbow-themed, Pride Month-themed. You don't have to buy every single one. You don't have to go out and get one because I am pretty sure you could probably make one with singles or you do have one and you forgot that it is one or you thought that it wasn't a rainbow palette but in reality it is with just extra shadows in it. I will link all these down in the description box, the ones that are available if you are interested in them. Let me know your thoughts. Which rainbow palette do you own or which one's your favorite? Maybe I might be interested in a new one. I've been holding off on buying any rainbow palettes because as you guys can see, I don't need a lot of them. There is plenty, you know, they're the same shades. That specific palette, I'm not one to have to have every single one. But I do love them and I am a fan of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys most likely tomorrow with a new video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye guys.